All right, so next up is Mommy's birthday steak. So this is a, is a top sirloin uh, yeah. that we got from Aldi. Um, it's been dry brining for about probably six to eight hours. I did it this morning. Dry brining is simply just putting on kosher salt uh, on it and then letting it sit and go. In the fridge. In the fridge. Um, we then took it out probably about an hour and a half before, hour to an hour and a half before we're ready to start cooking it. Uh, make sure it gets the, the flavor and let the, let the salt work its way in. Now, where did I put the black pepper? Uh, the fancy black pepper. You got I brought it out. I was, it was all fancy. Hold okay. on, I gotta find so what we're going to do now is just put on a nice coating of some coarse black pepper, right? Uh, it's a steak. We're not trying to rub it down with any, any different flavors, so we're just going to do salt and pepper, Texas style. There we go. Steak does not need any seasoning other than salt and pepper. Apply a little liberally. If it's a good steak. Yeah. This steak's from Aldi. Delivered by Instacart for the first time ever in the middle of this pandemic, so we don't have to go to the store. So you sprinkle liberally, give it a nice pat down, right? Get it on there. And we want to make sure we get both sides. There's the underside there, that's good. The dry brine has been put on all sides there. So I'm just going to go around the edges like this, see if I get a little bit on the edges. Right? And the way we're doing it tonight is we're going to pan sear it in some butter, really sealing that flavor, and then we're going to put it out on the grill and cook it to medium. So we're going to pull it at 150 internal and just kind of let it sit on the plate so we get that medium rare, medium uh, build. Pat that in. Okay. Now we're ready. We're going to fire up the, uh, the stove and the grill. And uh, yeah, then we'll start that. Yeah. So the next step now is we're going to sear the steak on both sides, high heat. We got a cast iron pan right here, and we're going to put on some butter and get it going. We're going to put the steak on, flip it, really seal it in. And then we're going to put it in the oven at 300. I don't know. Uh, and we're going to cook it to an internal temp of 150. I have my wireless. Thermometer, it's gonna go in when it goes in the oven and uh, we're just gonna monitor it. Now, this is gonna produce some smoke. So I'm gonna turn the heat down a tad and make sure I cover the pan. You cover the pan is butter. Yeah. Yeah. This is the healthiest way to cook a steak. All right. Now we're gonna take our sirloin and just, uh, Pop it right on down. Boom. Let's get that seared up. Got a spoon over here, right? So every now and then I'll collect it and just pour it on top, right? Pour it on top. You got the steak juices, you got the butter. Smear it around there. Right? What I'm looking for, now I'm not looking to cook it like this. I'm looking to just sear it on high, high heat and get a browning on the top and the bottom. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. Normally we'd take it out to the grill but it's raining. I don't feel like standing in the rain, grilling a steak. Right? Coming down, we're gonna keep putting it on. Right? Ah, that looks good. Looks real good. Okay? Get that sear on there. Look at 
at it, see what it looks like. And just a tad longer, a tad longer. And then we're going to flip it over, do the same thing, sear it. Some of these butter. Yeah. A little smoky, so we got the, uh, be ready on the, uh, the, uh, fire alarm. All right, we're gonna flip it now. All right, boom, right to the other side. Yeah, look at that. See, see all the black pepper crisping, right? This is what we want to do. We want to just, we want to just get that brown around the edges that you see here. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. It's good. Now we're hitting the other side. Let's see if we can get any more of these drippings. Yeah. All sides. There you go. AKA, this is also burning the shit out of my knuckle hairs, but that's alright. I got enough to go around. Right, Doug? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so at this point I'm cutting I'm cutting the gas completely. Drizzle on there. Yeah. Right, just keep some of that moisture going. Now we set the oven to 300. I don't know if this oven is actually at 300, but what we're going to do to make sure we get the right temp, we're going to take our thermometer, our probe, and we're going to put it in the thickest part. So I'm just going to kind of let it go in through here. All right, this is about the thickest part. We're at 130. Ooh, 207. Oh, it's touching the pan. Pick it up. Should we stab it through the middle so it's not touching the pan? It's giving us a false reading. Alright, right now it's at 124. Good, so we're gonna take it. Back up, Reese, back up, Reese, it's gonna be hot. And it's going right in the oven. Right? Now we're gonna monitor it here. We're at 127. Let's see how it goes. I don't know how long this will take, but we're gonna monitor, we're gonna pull up 150. Alright, so our test coming up real quick. So I'm gonna pull it and then use this thermometer, another one of Weber's to check different spots to make sure I'm hitting it right. And it's not just in a particularly Ooh, it's juicy. All right. Smells good. So we're gonna check it in some different areas to see what we're getting. 156, okay, good. 156, good. Oop. It goes through so quick, right? See that part's 138. Right? One fifty five. Yeah, so I said let's just let it sit. Yeah, I think it's fine. One forty eight, one fifty two, one fifty five, yeah. So oh, turn it all down. So what we're gonna let it do is just kinda rest for a little bit. Uh, we hit that really quickly. But with the pan searing, and you can see it's not a real thick cut. So we hit what we we hit our temperature. Now I'm going to pull this out and let it sit for about I don't know, a minute, and then we're going to be ready for for steak. Mommy, yo, um, I just eat all the icing that's pointing off the cookie. Excuse me, you eat my icing? Reese, it's not. We got to do icing and cupcakes after dinner, sir. Where did you eat? All right. Um, I'm gonna take them off so they don't fall. Oh, I would just leave them. Yeah. They'll be fine. All right, so I'm gonna. You're being silly. I don't think you're being silly. I don't think you're being silly. That's fine. Silly's fun. Okay. So I'm gonna take this over to the dinner or to the to the dinner table and. Mm -hmm. Let's eat.
and we're going to uh, wish you a happy birthday. My butt's talking, Mommy! My butt's talking. <laughs> Mommy's butt's talking. Gotta go. <laughs>